Hi, I'm Steve Murphy and welcome to the Insider Exclusive. Today, I am very pleased to present the Consumer Attorneys of California and its President, Raymond Boucher. Stay tuned. Voters understand now more than ever before that corporations have been engaging in illegal conduct. You've got Enron, you got WorldCom, you got Tyco. I mean, how many of these major corporations have destroyed destroyed the lives and the pensions and, you know, the future of hard-working men and women. This class action initiative is one of those ways that we're going to talk about corporate greed and give voters a chance to take back that power. And I want to welcome the president of the organization, Ray Boucher. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. It's my pleasure. Your organization is, I think, the second largest uh, trial lawyers association in the United States today, isn't it? It is indeed. And it's a very active organization. I think some of the best attorneys in the, in the country are members of your organization, and they've been involved with very high-profile cases. Um, tell us a little bit about the organization. What do you accomplish? What do you do? Well, the organization, more than anything else, provides um, political power to the little people, mm -hmm. to folks out in the street that otherwise wouldn't have a chance in Sacramento to fight for their rights. And then we fight in the courts to protect people from you know, corporate fraud, from insurance fraud, from big tobacco, from the insurance industry. You know, it doesn't matter what the fight is. When it comes to leveling the playing field and giving people a chance to have access to justice. You know, that's what we're about. And you get involved with a lot of class action suits, don't you? You know, class actions are one of the few vehicles available, one of the few ways that somebody who, you know, maybe it's an insurance scam and you've, you've only lost 10, 15, 20 dollars, but if there's a million people that that has happened to, the insurance industry is getting a heck of a lot of money, but you can't find a lawyer for 10 dollars or 15 dollars or 20 dollars. Getting everybody together as a class action and going after these major corporate giants is the only way we have to level the playing field and give people a chance. Yeah, there has been a lot of criticism over the last six years of trial lawyers, particularly by the Bush administration, uh, particularly by corporate America, saying that trial lawyers abuse the, the you know, filing of lawsuits and a variety of other things. On your website, you have a page, I think, which uh, deals with the uh, misunderstanding or confusion or actual lies about the Stella Awards. You're familiar with that? Sure. Um, where someone received a whole lot of money and that's not true, it never happened, correct? Right. Um, these are m misconceptions that are promulgated by, I'd say, the Bush administration, by corporate America, because they want trial lawyers to look like they are greedy people, they don't care about corporations, when that is totally untrue, right? The Bush administration, Karl Rove, in mm -hmm. conjunction with multi-billion dollar international corporations that you know, have no problem stamping out the rights of individuals. Yes. And they do it through this scheme. I mean, they've spent billions of dollars trying to brainwash the American public into be believing that there's a you know, landslide of lawsuits, when in fact, the number of lawsuits has declined dr dramatically over mm -hmm. the last number of years. The number of awards is down dramatically. But more important than anything else, um, the civil justice system, the jury system, is the only way that people have to fight back and to tell corporate America, I mean, look, you got Enron, you got WorldCom, you got Tyco. I mean, how many of these major corporations have destroyed, destroyed the lives and the pensions and, you know, the future of hard-working men and women? And it's because of our ability to fight them back and to force them to do the right thing that, you know, they spend billions of dollars on this advertising campaign trying to brainwash people into giving away their rights. Because right. they know once you give away your civil justice rights, you never get them back. You, in fact, and your firm was involved in a major class action against the Roman Catholic Church that was recently settled here in Los Angeles, correct? That's it. Um, what was it like fighting them? We well, you know the Catholic Church is a major corporation. I mean, it is big business, and the the secrecy, the amount of of fight 
that they would put up in order to, you know, eliminate somebody's chance to get compensation for, you know, sexual abuse that goes well beyond anything you could imagine and mm -hmm. goes back many, many years and they knew about it. It was a tough, grueling, relentless fight that took a lot of courage by a lot of victims and in conjunction with, you know, 20, 30, 40 very good lawyers fighting with the jury system yes. to finally get this thing to come, to come and settle. You um, had media companies, for example, I don't know, the Los Angeles Times. Were they on your side? Were they on the church's side? There were people that just didn't take these stories, right? right. You know, um, several newspapers and uh, broadcast companies, particularly early on, but throughout the case, didn't want to get into the ugliness of this case. And they did not... Uh, publish many of the articles and, and information about what was going on. And it's too bad, because the only way we ever learn, the only way we as a society ever get better, is to get the word out, to bring sunshine to these issues, mm -hmm. and allow people to take appropriate steps to protect themselves. A lot of people say, why is there a huge monetary award when you win a class action suit? What does that achieve? What is your answer to that? More often than not, it's not a huge award. Mm -hmm. You know, the the thing is that when you have a lot of people, the numbers get larger. But yes. once you divide it up amongst those those people, you know, they're getting appropriate compensation. You're, there's human damages that they have suffered um, that really are immeasurable in many respects. Um, the other thing I say is that the only thing that corporate America understands is is greed. Yes. It's the green money that flows through their veins. You take money from them, that sends a message. That's the only way you're ever going to deter them. And frankly, it's the only way you're going to protect businesses that are doing the right thing. I mean, there are businesses out there that, that engage in appropriate business, that, that do the right thing. And they're put to an unfair advantage when another corporation engages in fraudulent conduct. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the only way you can have a system, an economic system that works appropriately, uh, and a system of justice that works appropriately is to take money from those corporations that engage in bad behavior and punish them in a way that will change that behavior in the future. It's like a checks and balances system, isn't it? Very much so. You and your organization also get involved with some discrimination suits, don't you? Yeah. What are they similar to? Well, you know, the discrimination lawsuits and the civil rights lawsuits that, that we get involved in are designed to ensure that people, irrespective of their, their color, their background, their religion, are given a fair shot, mm -hmm. are treated fairly and openly and honestly in the workplace and in society. Um, and the amount of change that has come about as a result of the civil rights cases that have been filed in California alone is just dramatic. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's really a model for the rest of the country. Good. You know, one of the other areas that is kind of one of my pet peeves is bad faith insurance litigation. Mm -hmm. Insurance companies. Insurance companies don't like paying money. They'll cancel you in a minute if you don't pay your premium. But you and your fellow lawyers actually get involved with suing a lot of them and recovering from them. It takes years, right? Yeah, it takes uh, decades at times to fight the bad faith claims. Uh, against the insurance industry. I mean, you know, for the insurance industry, the money is a one-way street. It's a vacuum cleaner that sucks <laughs> it up, and they don't like to give it back out. Right. You know, irrespective. And they'll find any technicality they possibly can to eliminate somebody's rights. So, you know, you bought a disability policy, you paid 20 years into the disability policy, you become disabled, and they find that there was some question in a medical form that wasn't filled out correctly. Suddenly, you know, they they void your contract, they won't give you back your money, and you're mm -hmm. on the streets. And what do you do in those kinds of situations? I mean, you're up against real big odds often. I mean, it, it takes a lot to pursue this. How do you handle it? Well, you know, a couple of ways. One, it's always David versus Goliath. Yes. And, and you always know that when you're fighting on behalf of somebody that is voiceless, somebody who is just crying out for justice, um, it's an invigorating opportunity to be able to stand there and an honor to be able to stand there on their behalf at the bar of justice in front of a jury and say, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, the government isn't going to change it, the corporations aren't going to change it, you and you alone are the only ones that have the power 
to stop this kind of conduct and make them do the right thing. Now, Mattel, for example, did, I, I think, uh, quite maybe the honorable thing, of pulling off all of those products off the market immediately, right. kind of like Bayer did with the Tylenol. Uh, it's a good example of good corporate uh, citizenship. Um, what kind of liability do they have, even though they sold these, do they have some sort of liability there? Sure. Um, particularly to the extent that they knew they have long-standing relationships with the manufacturers in China. Yes. To the extent that they knew those manufacturers were adding lead to either the paint or to the toys in one fashion or another, they have continuing responsibility. What are some of the causes that your organization is working on right now? Well, you know, the you mentioned class actions earlier. Yes. Um, Intel and some of the other major corporations in California have filed a class action initiative that is designed to eliminate Californians' abilities to file a class action lawsuit. And it will absolutely destroy somebody's chance to, to bring fairness to the system. So we're fighting against that initiative to ensure that there is that opportunity in the civil justice system to they bring class action. They filed that lawsuit where? They filed the, the uh, initiative mm -hmm. about three or four weeks ago. It's currently in front of the um, AG's office for title and summary, and they'll begin signature gathering in about two or three weeks. So theoretically, it could become law unless you're successful in countering it. It's going to become law unless we can show the public, and this is the problem. You know, there's a disparity in, in buying power. Yeah. Um, they'll spend 10, 20, 30 million dollars to take away people's rights. And it's hard to raise the money to get the word out to the public right. about the truth behind it. And, you know, it's going to be up to the voters, but we're convinced. Voters understand now more than ever before that corporations have been engaging in illegal conduct and that the heads of these corporations really are overpaid yes. and irresponsible. Mm -hmm. And they want to take that power back from them. And this class action initiative is one of those ways that we're going to talk about corporate greed and give voters a chance to take back that power. You as a lawyer are aware of this and your 3,500 plus members are aware of it. How do you get that out to the average citizen so he understands the importance of that? How are you doing that? It's hard. You know, the hardest part about it is that you have the, the media mm -hmm. that is so conservative. They don't want to tell the truth about who's behind it and, and why this is a bad thing. Um, so, you know what, we've got to look at alternative means. We've got to go to YouTube. We're going to have to go to MySpace.com. We're going to have to go to the blogs. We're going to have to go into... Shows like this. Shows like this, absolutely. And go an alternative way of getting it out. And then, obviously, we're going to have to spend, you know, tens of millions of dollars from our members to fight on behalf of Californians to save this, the class actions. And, you know, the... The thing about it is, it's not just lawsuits. The class actions are used in civil rights cases. Mm -hmm. They're used in cases involving education. They're used in cases involving the environment. They're used in, in all types of cases. And, you know, the greed that corporate America shows in this type of circumstance is just difficult to combat. But, again, I, I have faith in the people of the state of California, and I have faith in our members to be able to raise the money necessary to get the word out. Well, I want to thank you very much for being on the show today because there's a message that needs to get out. We're going to get it out, and I'm going to have you back on the show again. And thank you very much. Thank Ray. you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed our show, and you can catch more of our shows at www.insiderexclusive.com. We'll see you next time. Thank you.